There are many challenges for a general dentist in accepting what we call a clean check. The clean check being the name that Invisalign used, but it could be a digital setup for any particular line of system. And the first challenge that we have is really accepting the auto movements and manipulations that the aligner company provides you. And let's explain that in a little bit more detail to you. Firstly, every aligner company works on algorithms. And it's those algorithms which determine when are you gonna place attachments. Those algorithms that determine the staging of the treatment. So for example, they have algorithms that say, if I extrude teeth by more than 0.5 of a millimeter, I'm going to end up with putting an attachment on, which is fantastic. That's what we want to happen. But what happens if that tooth is being extruded by 0.49 of a millimeter? There's no attachment placed by the aligner company. So that tooth will not extrude because there are defaults that are put in. There are defaults put in with IPR as well. For example, you won't even know there's any IPR being performed until you have about 0.35 millimeters of a collision. So hence, you need to override these auto movements based on your knowledge. Now, when I have a patient that comes in and I need to do a clean check or a digital setup, I usually go at least three times backwards and forwards to the aligner company, but I do so in a very structured manner. So the first time I'm gonna look at the total setup, make sure that's absolutely perfect. The second time I'll come back and do the attachments based on the amount of movements that we're gonna do. And the third time I'm gonna go back and really fine tune the staging, making sure that I've got sufficient space before I start to move certain teeth. So for example, an upper front tooth, an upper central incisor that's rotated requires space. So I need to make sure that I do my expansion first, get the space available before I start to rotate that tooth with my aligner. So, in essence, once you understand the principles and the biomechanics, because that's a whole nother topic, because for example, what happens when I intrude one tooth, I have an extrusive effect on another tooth. So you've got to understand all of the biomechanics to be able to plan treatment properly. So if you go ahead and accept that first clean check or that first digital setup, you are no different to a small club direct. And what we offer our patients is knowledge. And what we should offer our patients is a feeling that we know what we're doing and we're gonna get predictable, high quality results and done in an efficient manner. So I'm gonna ask you now, what can you do right now to improve the outcomes of your aligner therapy? Is it some more training? Is it getting more support from someone to make sure that your aligner setups are absolutely perfect with regards to everything that's required to perform perfect, predictable, and high quality outcomes for your patients?